So listen, I know I've been talking to you guys for the longest about my online interior designer, Havenly.com. But good news, today I got an update, guys. So I did three rooms with them, one, two, and three. Now those are the 3D renders. Come inside so I can show you what they actually look like in real life. It's my Havenly home tour. All right, so this is where it all started. This is the first room that I did, the living room. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you saw the before. The before was so different from what it is now. We had like dark blue grayish walls. I hadn't gotten a lot of furniture at the time. I had like a green couch that was dark and small, like a small rug. Don't judge me, okay? It was not cute. So my designer and I started working together during the pandemic. And at the time I was just missing the Caribbean because you know, we weren't able to travel so I told her that I needed some sort of tropical vibes to really feed my creativity. I'm a video producer so creativity and sparking that creativity is very very important for me. So after taking the Havenly quiz it said that my style was luxe so we went with tropical luxe. So this was the inspo. I love palm trees and I love the greens and the turquoise in this picture but we decided to take this and kind of put our own little spin on it and make it my thing. Here's the big reveal. So I wanna show you guys my favorite things. Let's start with the couch. So this couch, I know you look at it and you're just like off-white or white couch. What's so special about it? Well, let me tell you. If it were up to me, I was not getting the white couch. When I was talking with my designer, I'm just fearful as most people are of like staining it, spilling wine on it, guests coming over, sitting on it, and just basically at the end of the day, it not being white. But shout outs to my designer, Yanella, because Every cushion on this couch, you can zip it off and wash it, which is so bomb. So literally I can take this off, strip this off, strip the pillows, and throw it in the wash. It is amazing. In addition to that, the first day I got it, I actually spilled something on it. And all I had to do was take some soap water mixture, dab it, and it came off so quickly. So shout outs to you, Yanella, an article. This was a great couch and it's also comfortable. So this table, this table is special to me. One, I love curved furniture and I actually discovered that while working with my designer and Havenly, but I just realized everything that I kept liking and selecting was all curved. And so my designer definitely picked up on that and introduced me to this table, which actually was the first piece that I received. And it kind of felt like a Christmas present, opening it up. And I remember that moment, it just kind of made it feel like, yo, this is about to happen. Like I had seen the 3D render, but my space, remember the before, is actually going to look like the 3D render. So love this table. It was pretty affordable. I think it was like $50 or something at Home Depot. One thing I love about Havenly is that they work with all budgets. They work with different stores. Everything's not from like the Crate and Barrels, the West Elm. And then I also like this lamp that she suggested because I would have never chose gray marble for a gold and white room, but it looks wonderful. You know, another thing I really appreciated about working with a designer is the collaboration. And in a moment where like you possibly forget something or you're not thinking about your needs, your design is there for you. So dope thing that I am so happy for. These are from Home Depot again, these blackout curtains. So as I mentioned, I'm a video producer and I shoot most of my content actually in this room. So for some reason, I didn't think about the fact that I would need blackout curtains, but my designer so graciously recommended these ones and they have been a godsend like honestly working on my YouTube videos or shooting in here when the light is crazy it's up and down I can just close them no light whatsoever and I can do all controlled lighting myself so that was really great really awesome and you know you did a good job when something's mom approved my mom got a look of these and she was like oh these are quality when your mom says it's quality it's legit so this was a good buy, another affordable one from Home Depot. So if you remember in my before pictures, this table was in it. I actually ended up keeping this table. So I love that my designer worked around it to kind of revamp it and make it look fresher, feel new. Another favorite piece are these Ottomans. I love them. And I love them because the green is so rich. And then this, I used to have a skirt like this that I would wear all the time whenever I'd go out in college. And so it reminds me of that. And so I love these Ottomans. They look very, very luxe, I will say that. And so they make me happy. And I love that I can just tuck them away here 
And then I can also bring them out when I have guests and guests always love them putting their feet up. It was really helpful too because I wanted a chase couch, but I didn't have enough space. And so this was kind of like the happy medium. Got these from Wayfair, by the way, y'all. And then this coffee table setup. I had all these items, but definitely did not know how to organize them. <laughs> so that's another thing that I love. Like once my design was done and complete and I had my 3D render, I think it was like a month later, I circled around to ask my designer what her thoughts were on how I could set this up. And she helped me do this. And I don't know if it looks simple to you guys, but what I had before was not this cute. These books, oh, the Havenly Design book. And then my friend gave me this Michael Jackson Rewind book. So this is sentimental, like I like it because I love my candles, right? I love my greenery. And then we have my Michael Jackson book and more tips for me. So this wall actually won a Havenly Award, y'all. This is my favorite. Did I say it was before the table or after table? I don't know, but we'll lump them all together. The little side tables and this tropical wall is it. But I'm sure you can tell why, because it reminds me of the Caribbean. It's palm trees, but it's not like cheesy. It's still like very grown, you know? I love it. One of the best lessons that I've picked up have been when you find something that you love, buy it ASAP. And this was something that I almost lost out on because I didn't buy it ASAP. I bought one, then it sold out. And then praise God, it came back in and I was able to get this wall and it ended up winning a Havenly Design Award. So congratulations to my designer. But yes, I love this. And funny enough, it's another thing from Home Depot. Yo. Don't sleep on Home Depot. My camera guy came here and uh, apparently he was inspecting the plants to see if they were real or fake. But the point is that he had to go closer to figure out if they were real or fake. So I think this is a win. These are nearly natural plants that I got. I am not a plant mom. I was not called to do that. So I needed something. I'm a set it and forget it type person. So this, perfect. But I needed at the same note, this to not look fake. So mission accomplished. I know someone's gonna ask about the desk. So I got this at Wayfair. Another big lesson of mine in this whole experience is functionality. These three drawers are legit. Then on top of that, the fact that I can store stuff here, like things that I need to put down off my desk for a little second while I'm working on something else, I love this desk. Cause not only does it look beautiful, but it's like super functional, so another winner. All right, let's check out the next room. So the kitchen was the last space that I did. Honestly, I was very free with this space. I didn't have too much in mind. I just told my designer that I wanted to feel like I was in another country. I was kind of going for Euro vibes versus the Caribbean slash boho. Just anything that made me feel like I was sitting in a little cafe, sipping tea, calm, relaxed, peaceful vibes. So this is the reveal. So first thing I love about this kitchen is the shelves. And they were such a struggle for me to get them up, but it's okay. By the way, if you ever need someone to do it for you, they take care of that too. But me, I just, I'm a DIY kind of girl. I love the greenery on the top that we did with that. I love that the wine glasses are easily accessible. I love the look of the shelves, that they're not super perfect and clean, but kind of rugged. That all of that stuff just attributes to like the vibe that I get in this space. And the pictures. One thing I know I wanna do in this apartment is have images of places that I wanna visit and places that I've been to that I really love. So I do plan on changing the pictures in the living room actually to match that theme. But Morocco is one of them. I might change one later, but plant mom, I'm not. So for now, the plant picture works. Another great thing is these faux eucalyptus. They make me happy. And I didn't even wanna fill the vase. Like this was fine. I love this vase, uh, the color of it. Like I just wanted to throw in a pop of something slightly different. It just feels airy and I like it that way. These chairs, I fell in love with them the moment that my designer shared them with me. The leather right here. And it's actually really comfortable, oddly enough. I was not expecting that. But this goes back to my thought about buying things ASAP when you love them. Because if it sells out, your designer can definitely get you a substitute. But if you're like me, when you fall in love with something, like you want that 
thing. So thankfully, this was something that we were scouting, scouting, scouting once it sold out and we were able to get it. And I love these chairs. So this is a last minute addition for you guys. I literally was reading a Havenly blog the night before and they mentioned how hanging pictures in your space can add to it looking cozy. Now, I know I already had pictures on that side, but I was thinking there was an imbalance on this side. And then it hit me. Ding! I had this frame already. I might switch out the picture, but I put it above my sink and I just love the way it like ties in all the black. And I just feel like it balances the other side of the images. So thank you Havenly for that blog because this helped balance out everything. So it was really important for me during this whole design process to adultify my space because it's time, it was time. But I got really excited for these dishes because I know they just look like dishes to you, but one, they're beautiful, heavy, like quality. And it just adds to like my whole vibe in this kitchen when I'm eating out of it, like I feel great. It sounds cheesy, but it really makes the difference having this nice like dinnerware to eat from. And I didn't realize how much I needed like these salad bowls. They are legit. So thank you. I think these ones were actually from West Elm. Did y'all notice how big of a difference changing the handles make? My designer, she she mentioned a couple of times and I'll be honest, I was just too lazy. I didn't feel like doing it. It just felt like it was gonna be a lot. But shout outs to Derek because <laughs> he's like, I'm sure it'll be quick. But we did it. We actually did it right before this and it made a huge difference, right? So I'd have to say as of now, the bedroom is my favorite place just because when I walk in here, I just instantly feel peace. And it was definitely not that in the before. The before were like ugly purple walls. I initially had my bed over in the corner, which thank you, Vicky, shout outs to you because she suggested that I move it over into a much better than suitable space. And then we didn't really have much going on. We had the dresser that had a ton of stuff on it. And I told my designer it was so important for me to like stop that because I always see room designs where there's like nothing on the dresser. And I just figured that would not be the case with me because I need my stuff on my dresser. So this was more of a collaborative space. I'll definitely say that. My designer gave me her ideas. A lot of the things sold out because I took too long to buy them. And so then I had to jump in, take the knowledge that she gave me, bounce the ideas off of her. And here's what we came up with. All right, so I call this room the brown girl cave because I just filled it with different shades of brown. It brings me the peace, like I said. As soon as I walk into here, once again, I just feel warmth and I love it. So my favorite, I would definitely say, is the bed because it's cozy. It is so cozy, it looks cozy, it feels cozy. I love this piece. I think I got this from Crate and Barrel. It's just as fuzzy and furry and warm as it feels. And then I love the, I believe this was Pottery Barn where I got this comforter from. And shout outs to Havenly because I'm actually using their insert down alternative comforter under this. And as you see, nice and fluffy, yeah. I would definitely recommend these down pillows for sure. I got these from West Elm. And then I got these pillows off of Amazon and I got these at Marshalls and Shout outs to my designer again, because here's the thing. I really wanted everything to look luxe, but I wasn't trying to do the luxe budget. So what we did is we didn't bother getting a bed head and a set. We just created our own. So she found me this great artwork piece. We just put that behind there. It looks like a bed head. And then here, once again, going back to functionality, so important. I wanted something that was high enough for me to store stuff under it. So I ended up getting a steel, a white steel bed frame. And that saved me money too, because those wood bed frames are like 500 bucks. Like this was like under a hundred. And then we just took a runner and put that over it and gave it the whole like boho vibe. So. So this lamp, I love the texture of this lamp. Like textures were really important to me for this room because I feel like it all adds to the calm feeling and vibe that I get from this room. But my designer picked out this nightstand. Initially I wanted one that had a uh, drawer in it, 
But she gave me this along with a couple of other options, which I appreciated. I ended up just going with this because it was so beautiful. And then when I got the lamp on top of that, I just liked how it looked together. So this is a favorite piece as well. I think I got this from English Elm and this one's from Wayfair. Okay, so this wall was looking a little bare. So we wanted to add something to it. And I love the fact that this simple art, just two pieces right here on this column, like did the trick. So I call it the brown girl cave. Of course I had to create or add, I should say, some brown girl art. So I love that this is line art. This was actually created for me by Giorgio. I believe his name is Giorgio, he's from Paris. Okay, I lie, I got it from Etsy. <laughs> I like this one because it does remind me of me like when I wear my head wraps and then this one, in my natural hair. So salutes to all my brown girls out there. So this dresser was a blessing because I initially got a few different pieces from my designer and I love the fact that they work with you. They work with you whatever you want. If you're like, let's substitute this out for something whitewash, but I needed to match my budget. That's what I did with this and we ended up getting it. Cause you know, whitewash furniture is like super expensive nowadays, but this one we got at Wayfair. They did their thing. I think it was like a hundred and something dollars and this is what kicked off the whole entire room and the vision for it. All right, so I'm gonna drop another tip for you guys. Definitely always share your measurements with your designer because I didn't do that for this space. This space was designated for a chair to be here. This nice, huge, big Papasan chair, but it was too big. It didn't go. So initially what I intended for this to be is a prayer area. So we took it back to that and that all probably happened for a reason. But I love the fact that once again, post design, I circled around to my designer and she was like, bam, let's put a mirror right here. All right. Let's throw some boxes, wicker boxes or wicker baskets here and then add some greenery and it worked. So for this space, what I actually ended up doing, and I threw in the fur rug, this is my contribution, but I keep my Bible in here, all my devotional books here, and then I also have this frame, which I love the material that it's made out of with one of my favorite Bible verses. So it's actually come to be like the perfect space where I do my devotionals. So yeah, I'll just sit here. Sometimes I'll like face this way, just talking to God, or sometimes I'll just like kind of face this verse, just zoning out, you know, talking to God as well. But I think this all happened for a reason. I like this much better than the reading chair. I didn't need the reading chair in this space. So you remember when I mentioned that dresser, how I had all the things stocked on it? Could you believe that all those things fit on this nice little shelf. So my designer recommended this shelf. I love it because first off, it's it's beautiful just on its own. If you're wondering where everything is, like these baskets hold so much. It's so simple. And then it makes everything look clean. Once again, functionality, I would definitely say that's been another big takeaway in this experience, functionality. Like drop everything in your baskets. I've got things in this cute little box here, a few books, my blessings jar, of course. I keep all my blessings for the year here. If you've never tried it, I highly recommend doing it. Just anytime you find yourself saying, God, thank you so much for this, drop it in here. And then at the end of the year, you just open it up, read them all, or in moments of discouragement, open it up, read them all, and it's, it's really inspiring. I promise you, definitely try this in the new year. And then this. This is something I never knew I needed. I know I love everything in this room, but this is why this is my brown girl cave. So a vanity, this is where everything else on my dresser went. I keep all my makeup in here. I keep the rest in here. It's properly organized. I am so grateful to my designer for helping me figure out where I could put this because I knew it was something that I wanted to do, but I just didn't know where to put it. I'm telling you guys, doing makeup used to feel like a chore. Now I actually enjoy it. I don't love it yet, but I enjoy it. And it's just because everything it's so nicely laid out here. So once again, this is why it was a pleasure collaborating with someone because I just feel like where my mind isn't going or where it can't go, theirs can. And so this is really like my favorite room once again. This is my brown girl cave. And then the final area, I love this all because these are more Bible verses. My favorite Bible verse, Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you plans to give you hope for a future. I have this verse everywhere and so I thought it was time for me to put it up on my wall literally as I'm leaving the room. It's just a reminder to me that God is not here to hurt me. Like God has got me. At the end of the day, 
plans to prosper you and to give you hope for a future. And then I have to walk to the laundry mat. So these two things for my laundry are convenient. I love the fact that they have tops and it keeps the room looking nice and clean. All right, y'all, that's a wrap. Three different rooms, three different designs, and I feel so complete now. My home is beautiful. It creatively inspires me. So I wanna say thank you so much to Havenly for these beautiful designs. And I wanna say thank you to y'all for joining me on my Havenly Home Makeover Tour. See you next time.